Hi and welcome to this full body yoga flow for improving your flexibility. My name is Dilek and I'm excited to guide you through this practice today. Let's get started in child's pose at the back of your mat. Bring your feet together, your knees apart, hips to your heels and then reach your arms forward and release your chest onto your thighs, forehead onto the mat. Take a few deep breaths in this pose, feeling your chest and belly expand and arriving in the here and now, on your mat and inside of your body. Flip your palms so that they are facing up towards the sky, bringing space between your shoulder blades and stretching out the upper back. Stay for a couple more breaths in full awareness and alignment. Then turn your palms back onto the mat and on your next inhale you will bring yourself up into tabletop around the spine, suck the belly in and press the floor away. From here you will arch the spine and send your hips back into child's pose. A few more like this, on your inhale you round forward. Press the floor away, suck your belly in, exhale, arch the spine, send your hips back. Inhale, round forward, lots of space between your vertebrae. Exhale, arch the spine, child's pose. Now we stay in child's pose and we bring both of our hands to the left side of the mat. Knees are wide apart so you can release your chest far, far down. Right shoulder pulls down towards the mat and feel into the nice stretch in your right side body. Again, focus on your breath. It's our anchor to the present moment. We are here, moving our body, calming the mind. Always be gentle with yourself. Wherever you are in your practice, you are exactly where you need to be. On your next inhale, bring your hands a little bit more back towards the mat. We will come into a side stretch on your left knee and left hand. Turn your left foot outward right foot to the back, extend your right leg and your right arm reaches up and over your head, stretching the right side body even more. Reach as far as you can and then start to circle that right arm out and around, first to the back and then to the front. Make the circles as big as possible, stretching out our shoulders and the chest here. Take your time, don't rush here, really enjoy the stretch. And give me one more over the head and around. And then square out your shoulders and hips and meet me back in child's pose. One deep breath here and then let's take it to the other side. So both of your hands are going to come to the right side of the mat. Release your chest down between your knees, pulling your left shoulder down consciously now and feeling into the stretch in your left side body. Become so aware of your body that you feel which parts are connected to the mat, which parts you feel a stretch in, 
which parts might feel tense and you need to loosen them. Take one more deep breath. And then bring your hands back a little more towards the center. Bring your hips up and come into a side stretch on your right hand and knee. Stretching your left leg out to the side and reach your left arm over your head. Reach forward as much as you can and back with your left foot. Open the left side body and then start to circle your left arm out and around in big circles. Really move that left shoulder and open your chest when you bring the arm back. One more, slow and controlled, over the head and back. And then bring your left hand onto the mat, square your hips out and release your hips back into child's pose forehead onto the mat stretching out our backs one last time on your next inhale round up into tabletop Tuck your back toes and then send your hips back and up into downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent if that's easier for you. Try to reach your heels towards the mat, extending from the shoulders and the spine. And then start to walk out your dog, bending one knee at a time. Go in your own pace. Maybe add your shoulders and bring as much movement into this pose as you can. Then find stillness in this downward facing dog. And with your next breath, we will start to walk our hands towards the feet. Feel free to bend your knees. On your inhale, you will extend the spine, come up halfway. And then exhale, fold forward from your hips. Release your neck, release your head. And then bring your hands behind your neck, interlacing the fingers. And then pull your head down towards the mat with your hands stretching out the back of your neck feel free to rock from side to side a few times enjoy the stretch in the back of your legs and again feel free to bend your knees and release your chest onto your thighs On your next inhale, everyone now bend your knees slightly, release your hands from the back of your neck, and then slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra into standing. Your head comes last, roll your shoulders back and away from the ears, palms are facing to the front, meet me in Tadasana. Your feet are hip width apart. Your chest is open. From here, you will interlace your fingers behind your back. I will show you real quick, turning around, what we will do with the hands. So, palms are connected. Extend your elbows. And then bring both of your hands to your left hip. Elbows are squeezing together so you open your chest. Stay like this at the back of your mat, feet hip width apart. 
and then you will bring your left ear to your left shoulder stretching the right side of your neck so your right shoulder is pulling down and then start to bend your knees bring your hips down into a chair pose keep the rest of your body aligned as it is this actually looks a little bit weird but don't worry stay with me it's not about the looks so we stay in this chair pose keep stretching your neck and then extend your knees bring your hands to the back still interlaced and fold forward from your hips reaching back with both of your hands try to pull them down towards the mat as much as you can engage your core it helps you to get down even further beautiful stay and breathe and on your next inhale you'll roll back up into standing slow and controlled open the chest release your hands and reach them up over your head big inhale take in the energy exhale hands in front of your chest same same on the other side bring your hands back interlace your fingers and this time bring both of your hands to your right hip remember to keep your elbows close together opening the chest shoulders away from the ears and then right ear to right shoulder stretch the left side of your neck and start to bend your knees bringing your hips down into chair pose stay for a couple of breaths keep stretching keep engaging your muscles and on your exhale extend your knees fold forward from your hips and bring your hands behind your back reaching down towards the mat this is again a really nice stretch for our shoulders our back and our hamstrings take one more deep breath try to reach a little bit further down towards the mat and then inhale bend your knees and roll up into standing keep your fingers interlaced reach them down opening the chest a little more and then exhale release bring your palms up over your head open and exhale hands down swan dive into forward fold inhale come up halfway exhale slowly walk your hands back forward into downward facing dog stay and reach your hips up towards the sky your heels down towards the mat and on your inhale come up to your tippy toes exhale try to reach your heels down even further deep breath in this downward facing dog and on your next inhale bring your right leg up towards the sky into three-legged dog open your hips and bend the knee reaching the right foot forward feel free to come down onto your left elbow to intensify the stretch stay wherever you are breathing enjoying the pose if it's too much for you keep your right leg extended stay on both of your hands on your exhale you will come back onto both of your hands and bring the right knee into your chest step the foot forward between your hands and then release your right knee to the mat and bring your arms up into low lunge right knee on top of your right ankle try to bring your hips down low and open the chest leaning back from here twisting from the belly button extend both arms to the sides 
and then reach your right hand back and down towards the mat, opening the front of your chest and reach your left arm behind your head. Open in this twisted reversed low lunge and then exhale left hand comes onto the mat in front of you and the right arm is going to circle out and around for one and two, make it as big as possible, three and then reach back with your right hand, bend your left knee and try to grab your left foot with your right hand. Either hold it here or feel free to pull that foot in closer towards your glutes as much as you can, feeling a deep stretch in your left quad muscle. We stay here for a couple of breaths. Wherever you are, it's perfectly fine. Exhale, slowly release the foot, bring it to the mat, tuck your back toes, both hands onto the mat in front of you, lift your left knee and then step your right foot back into high plank. Hold it here and then knees, chest, chin down to the mat, scoop forward into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back and up into downward facing dog. Try to reach your heels down even further towards the mat. Try to extend even more from your spine. And stay here for a couple of breaths, finding your alignment before we continue on the other side. Inhale, left foot comes up into three-legged dog. Bend your left knee and then reach your left foot forward, opening your hips out. Maybe come down onto your right elbow, reaching your left hand a little more forward. Adjust yourself so you feel comfortable in the pose. Stay and enjoy, and on your exhale, you will come back up onto both of your hands and bring the left knee into your chest. Step your left foot forward between your hands, and then release your right knee down. Bring your arms up into low lunge. Try to open your chest, lean back a little more. Soak in that energy. Exhale, twisting from the belly button, reaching your arms parallel to the floor. Engage your core, stay in this twist. And then on your next exhale, you will reach your left hand back and down to the mat. Right hand behind your head, opening the chest. This is a really deep stretch for the front of the body and the hips. Inhale, your right hand comes onto the mat in front of you. Your left arm is going to circle out and around three times. Big circles. And then reach that left hand to the back of the mat. Bend your right knee and try to grab that right foot. Either hold it there, feeling into the nice stretch in your right quad muscle, or try to pull that foot in towards your glutes even more. Stay, twist and enjoy. Send compassion and love towards yourself. You want to work with your body, not against it. Exhale and release your foot, tuck your right toes, bring both hands to the front of your mat and then lift your right knee and step your left foot back into high plank. 
you choose knees, chest, chin or chaturanga to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest and exhale, hips back and up into downward facing dog. Press into all ten fingers and reach your hips up towards the sky. We stay for a breath. And then look to the top of the mat, bend your knees and step or hop forward coming into a seated position on your mat. Plant your feet onto the mat in front of you and then slowly release your upper body down. Arms beside you. Make yourself comfortable. Extend your right leg and bring your left knee in towards your chest. Grab that knee with both of your hands pulling it in a little bit more and then reach for the outside of your left foot. Come into half happy baby pose so your left hand is pulling your left foot down. Your right hand can rest on your right hip pushing that hip down. Keep a 90 degree bend in your left knee and feel into this nice stretch in your leg. Hold and engage your right leg to keep your balance. Close your eyes if you'd like, tune into your body. Beautiful sensation. Slowly release the foot, bring the knee back into the chest and then pull it over with your right hand to the opposite side coming into a twist. Left hand reaches back, look over your left shoulder. Both shoulders stay connected to the mat. And then again, enjoy. Listen to your body. What is it telling you right now? Exhale, come back to center, untwist your body and extend your left leg. Bring your right knee in, pull it in with your hands and then reach for the outside of your right foot coming onto the other side now into half happy baby. Left hand is on your left hip, pushing that hip down so that you can pull the right foot down towards the earth with your hand. 90 degree bend in your right knee. Hold and enjoy. Remember to engage your left leg. We're not just chilling in the pose. Our whole body is active. One more deep breath. And then release the foot, bring the right knee in and pull it over to the left, extending your right arm out, look over your right shoulder, twist from the belly button. Such a beautiful pose to close our practice. Remember to connect to your breath, to connect to the present moment. Slowly exhale, release the twist and extend both legs, both arms, meet me in Shavasana. Palms are facing up towards the sky, close your eyes and release all of the tension in your body. It's time to come home to ourselves, to release any thoughts and worries, to listen to the silence within us, 
to let it expand and bring comfort. Feel the support of the ground beneath you, your connection to the earth. It's always there, we just need to become aware of it. Imagine roots reaching from your body deep down into the earth, connecting you to everything and everyone around you. We are not separate from each other. In fact, separation is an illusion. We are one with the universe. Feel free to stay in this Shavasana as long as you need. However, if you're ready to come out, slowly start to move your fingers and toes, your hands and your feet. And then plant the soles of your feet onto the mat and roll over to one side. Press yourself up into a seated position, cross your legs in front of you, and meet me at the center of your mat. Let's take a deep breath in together, reach your arms up over your head, take in all the energy, and exhale, bring that energy down to your chest. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. It was a pleasure to move and stretch with you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I am excited to see you in the next class.